Hi there, Tim here. Uh, welcome to my tutorial on how to build a simple binary calculator or counter. The first thing we're going to start off with here um, is an explanation of what each of these nodes are. I have um, an enhanced logic gate that I've made and templated. So basically what we have in the middle right here is a, a normal logic gate and then we have three switches down here at the bottom. The red cube um, is a reset switch. If I right click on this, choose create link, say uh, when player clicks this object, click on my timer, on my uh, logic gate I mean, and choose stop both cogs, that's now a reset switch. So when I click on this, it resets uh, my logic gate. Then the blue one says when I click on it, I'm going to turn on COG1. The orange one says when I click on it, I'm going to turn on COG2. Then in the logic gate, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say when COG1 turns on, light the blue cube. When logic uh, COG1 turns off, turn off the blue cube. When COG2 turns on, turn on the orange cube. When COG2 turns off, turn off the orange cube. Now, the ones at the top are AND and OR identifiers. So for here, we're going to create a link. We're going to say when both COGs have started, click on the green cube and say turn on this glow. When we say create a link, when either cog stops, turn off the green cube. All right. Um, and then the OR gate is when either cog 1 or cog 2 is started, turn on this light. And when both are off, turn off this light. So now what we have uh, is if I turn, if I click on this, you'll see it turns on the blue light and uh, turns on the OR indicator. When I click on this one, it turns on this light, turns on the AND and the OR indicators. And if I turn one off, you'll see the AND turns off, but the OR stays on. And when they're both off, again, the OR turns off. Um, additionally, you may have noticed that um, for each of these emissive cubes, I also went in here and unchecked this little, or clicked on this little chain right here, which breaks the um, default behavior so that the only thing that turns on and off the lights are the logic gate telling it that a various state has altered. All right, so that is, and then I highlight this, template it, and now I have my enhanced logic gate. Now what I do is, or what I did is I went and I lined up 10 of these across the top of my board right here. And for each of these, I'm going to do three additional steps. The first one is I'm going to right click on the blue cube, say create a link click on my logic gate and I'm going to say um, so I'm going to sorry, right click here then I'm going to say when um, this glow turns on click on my logic gate alternate the current state of both cogs all right then I'm going to right click on my logic gate I'm going to create a link I'm going to say when both cogs have started I'm going to click on the gate to the left and I'm going to say start cog1 and up here for my AND indicator I'm going to do a create a link and say when this glow turns on click on my logic gate and choose stop both cogs. All right. Now I'm going to do those exact same three steps for each of the gates going across the line. When you get to the one at the end just skip the turning on the gate to the left. All right. So now what happens is when I turn this on, the logic basic, or when I click on this cube, the logic is basically this. I clicked on this cube, which told it to turn on COG1. COG1 turns on, which lights this light. When this light lights, it tells this to alternate COG1 and COG2, which turns this light back off again, which turns COG2 on, turns this light on, and sets my OR gate. Now, when I click on this again,
the logic is, turn on COG1. COG1 and COG2 are now both on. When COG1 and COG2 are both on, light COG1 over here. When this light, because they're both on, it lights this light. When this light lights, it tells it to turn off COG1 and COG2, which turns off both of these lights. And when this gate told this one to turn on COG1, it told it turned on COG1, which turned on this light. When this light turned on, it told it to turn to toggle COG1 and COG2, which turned on COG2, which turned on this light, and set the OR gate. And of course, this works all the way across. The end result here is that when I click on this blue cube over and over again, I am incrementing my binary counter. And you'll see that we, so we can reset. So in binary, that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, that's six, that's seven, that's eight, etc. All right. We now have the ability to add. All right. If we have um, in binary, we have six, and we add one, we have seven. We add one, we have eight. All right. Um, if we have eight plus four is twelve. All right. So this is binary twelve, and we add 4 to 12, we get 16. All right. So we now have the ability to add um, and count. And if we want to subtract, um, it, ha it helps to know that the best way to subtract um, in binary um, is to basically insert a row of ones across the entire line right here. All right. Um, the reason for that's more complicated than for this tutorial. So, but the basic gist is, if I want to subtract one, then I simply um, click on each of the blue lines in sequence, or, or blue cubes in sequence. I can, of course, make a little uh, chain of activity that would do this for me, and you'll see that I went from 16 down to 15 um, again. If I did it again, across the line, like this, and we have again subtracted one. All right, so there you go. A very simple logic gate, um, counter, and calculator. Thank you very much.